why East Berkeley and Boston should be a strong, strong consideration for a two-way protected bike lane. You're looking at 4th Street. That's South Boston that way. So how does Southie get connected to the rest of the city? This is uh, the ink block. We're on East Berkeley. So my proposal is that a two-way bike lane starts from right here. And stick around to the end. There's a nice little surprise to see where it uh, could ultimately get to. First off, I mean, look at the condition of the road is horrific. It's terrible. Uh, it's going to get worse, actually, too. It's wavy and bumpy like the ocean. Uh, so, two-way bike lane. <clears throat> it's one-way road that has parking in some areas, but it's not as heavily utilized as in a lot of other areas that I've seen. So, in effect, it's like a three-way, one-way road in many areas, uh, many uh, portions of it. See how this, there's not a lot of consistent parking all up and down this. Do we really need all that? You could have a two-way bike lane right here where we're riding right now. Right now, we're crossing Washington, by the way. In this area, I don't even think you're allowed to park. So, this is always just wide open, not even utilized. This whole area right here. I'll speed up, catch this one. I don't see any reason why something couldn't be achieved to get this. Now, granted, you're, I'm sorry, you gotta consider as well, this is a big connection, an entire neighborhood. If you get, so right now, you can go over Travelers, get into Southie, relatively safely there's not a protected lane but there is a lane nonetheless and then coming out there's a somewhat protected lane on uh, 4th street but getting from 4th street over into the rest whether it's on travelers or east berkeley that crossing it's uh it's intimidating there's like all those cars going up into the highway so there's merit for this there's reason to do this and here we're coming to uh, one of the biggest reasons why is right now we're coming to Tremont. There's already an established lane. I'll show you. It goes up and then down, all the way down to uh, Mass Ave from here. So by making East Berkeley a lane, you're connecting it to another lane that already exists. That in and of itself should be the number one reason why this should be strongly, strongly considered. You're connecting a whole neighborhood to a brand new uh, protected bike lane, but there's more. Uh, and you already have this as well, where you have a lane that takes you up towards where it crosses over uh, Mass Pike. So how far they go with this one and where it hits, that's another issue, but nonetheless, you already have it going. Why not do that two-way that I'm describing and get stuff connected to Tremont? 